love you. Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are doing another hygiene shopping haul. I've been taking a lot of TikTok suggestions, a lot of YouTube suggestions, and just things that I've wanted to try my own for the upcoming season. And I'm pretty much hitting every single aspect of hygiene in this video. Fragrances, skincare, body care, hair care, makeup, I want to dive with it all. The plan is I want to go to Target, I want to go to Ulta, and I want to go to TJ Maxx. We are going to go to Target first, and let's see what we get. Why would you have amber sandalwood foaming wash? Don't use that. And talking about daily use, that's ridiculous. My therapist wanted me to try this. I don't really know what it does. I think I'm gonna go to Walmart for it because it's like literally $10 cheaper. We have it. They're more expensive than everybody claims they are. Oh, these are only $9.99. Yeah, I really like this one. They smell really strong too. They smell like they're gonna last for a while. Cause I, I kind of want a new moisturizer and I want a new cleanser. Oh, this is a cleanser from Naturium. Or oh, they don't have it here. Oh, they might actually. They do. I gotta make sure I add all these target circles so I can get these sales. Do they have the shampoo? Do y'all like my twist out? Go to the chin and do it to me. I won't tell on the bros with immunity. Can't beat them next year, they gon' ruin me. I'm the only one now that I'll do me. I got hoes by the boot trying to do me. My life like a movie, get hit in the water. Home got put in no work, as in order. This shit ain't got serious, no me, it's come plural. I'm leaving by more, we swipe me, keep it, no word, it's plural. I'm young and I'm turning. 11.59 for some body oil. I mean, it probably really does moisturize well. This with the lotion, I wanted this tone and texture. Daily renewing lotion, yeah. Cause I wanted some body butter. But if I get this, do I really need body butter? The Billy. Flamingo. Like, what's the difference between all of these? And it's five blade. See, I don't want it surrounded with nothing. Like, no gel or nothing. I'm getting the Flamingo instead because this is actually the same price. The Lilac is only $10. I would rather have the Lilac. So that's fine. Rated best of beauty of Allure 2022. So that's gotta count for something. They got the giant method body washes. They only have two cents so. This don't feel very full. So I just sat on TikTok in the middle of the sunscreen aisle for like 15 minutes looking up if black girl sunscreen is actually gonna do more harm for you than good. So don't know if I'm gonna get this one anymore. I'm gonna go look for the elf one, which I see it now. And it's not there. It's all sold out. Wow. Okay, so I got everything I needed from Target. Next, we're gonna go to Ulta and then TJ. She's in love with Guayam. Back in high school, I used to bust it to the test. Now I hit the FBO with doubles in my head. I didn't have a fan 13 hours till I land. I just broke like a light, baby. Like a light. Yeah, I go ahead and use 
And now it's dark. Looking for that L theanine. Oh, it's right here. Fine 95. Oh, it's a lot smaller. That's probably why it's cheaper. But it's still 100 capsules. But I'm going to Atlanta in a couple weeks. So I want to re get acrylics. But my nails are a hot mess. So I want them to be a little bit better before I get the acrylics. I found this. It's only 388. Says results in a day. Who knows if that's really true? But I just need them to grow a little bit. They don't need to be long and strong. I mean, I'm just gonna put acrylics right back over them. But we're gonna try that out. Hi. I think I'm gonna get it. I really think I am. It's a lot, but on the side, I like that. Helps the skin lose less moisture. Like, that's my whole, that's the whole thing I'm looking for. So, I think I'm gonna get my eye mask, get the snail mucin. We're doing it. Let's go. One, two. Three. Thank you. So I'm gonna order Domino's because Domino's. Which one should I order from? Let's okay, so I got my gluten-free pizza with garlic parmesan sauce, premium chicken, green peppers, and black olives. I think I might have a couple dollars on a gift card too. Finally found the body oil after two aisles. Body and shower oil. I don't know what Arnica is. But I think they all say the same thing. But I like the way this one looks. So I'll probably get that one. Pizza's out there. And it's only eight and nine. It's time to do a little haul. Well, not very little, but a haul nonetheless. So I will go and order a place that I went. Let's start with Target first. Altogether, I'm gonna say I spent about, not including Ulta, I think I spent about like $110 or so. And if you add Ulta, it was probably about $40 at Ulta. So like $150 altogether. And I'm not gonna lie, a lot of the stuff that I recorded and filmed, I had it in my car and I was even at the checkout and I literally ended up taking it back and switching it for something else, like the razors, for example. I found like a $2 coupon on Target Circle, and I was like, anything to save a penny. That's my motto. But let's go ahead and get started. And I will put the prices of everything on the screen. I should probably like move to one side so I can do that. So I will put all of the prices. Maybe I'll do it right here, because there's white right here. Yeah, I will put all the prices on the screen. So first, I got this. I got a new leave-in. It is this Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mafura Oil Intensive Con Hydration Leave-In Conditioner. Now, I really like the deep conditioner from this brand, and I've heard, I saw things on TikTok about this, and I've been wanting a new leave-in conditioner for my hair. It, we be dry over here, so I'm hoping this one will be a good option for me. And then I've been seeing this all over TikTok as well. This Aveeno Tone and Texture daily renewing lotion exfoliates and hydrates clinically proven to help bumpy skin even kp roughness and uneven skin tone i really like aveeno lotion just the aveeno the brand as itself as a whole so i'm excited to try this one and then these are the razors i actually ended up getting very simple compared to what i recorded and what i thought i was gonna get but i got these for only four bucks and it's two of them and i actually just finished um organizing my linen closet like that has all my products and stuff in it and I actually have a razor already and it has about six replacement heads so I'm actually kind of glad that I didn't buy that flamingo razor that I wanted but this is just the big easy rinse patent anti-clogging technology smoother shave less irritation 
So yeah, it's just a four blade razor and then there's two, they're just disposable so you probably only use them just once or twice and then just get rid of them. And then I just got some little elastics from the Sakuni brand, I think that's how you say it, just regular elastics. And then I'm really excited about this, I got one of the Mix Bar Hair and Body Mist and I got it in the scent number 21, I think this is the, yep, it's called Cloud Musk. a little waft I love the way that smells it is kind of musky to me this smells like mahogany teak wood but an actual girl version of it so I love it and then the last two things I got from Target I got the everyday staple I had this in my last hygiene haul just a Dr. Bronner's unscented Castile bar soap I use this in my lady areas and armpits and behind you know everywhere to get an extra deep clean before I go in with my scrubs and my body cleanser I'll use this with an African net sponge before I go in with the rest of my products and then the last thing that I got from Target which was kind of a splurge I think this was probably about $18 or something but I wanted a really good cleanser and I wanted to try something besides the Cetaphil I've been using Cetaphil for probably what four years now five years six years no exaggeration and it's like it works it helps i'm just ready to level up my skincare routine i feel like cetaphil is kind of my i feel like my skin is used to it i don't know if that's really a thing but that's what i'm going with i saw this la roche prose i saw the one for normal to oily skin on tiktok but then when i got to target i saw this one for normal to dry skin and wait i got the wrong one well, I meant to get the normal dry skin, so um, I'm going to go back to Target and exchange this. But yeah, the La roche Prose, it's not even the same thing. This, The normal to oily skin is purifying foaming cleanser, and the normal to dry skin is a completely different one. So I'm going to take that back to Target and exchange it for the dry skin one. That is everything I got from Target. Let's do Walmart next. I did go to Walmart next. I only got two things. And I specifically went to get this L-theanine. My therapist actually wanted me to get this. Take the depo shot. And so she told me that L-theanine helped for her in the past with her mood swings because of depo. So I'm curious to use this. I'm going to use this. I can let you guys know how it is. It's basically mood health. It says does say that on there. L-theanine is an amino acid that enhances endocrine function, working gently to promote relaxation without drowsiness. So yeah, basically just for stress and things. I got this from Walmart for five bucks. It was a lot cheaper than literally anywhere else. So I was looking for that actually. My I took my acrylics off probably about two weeks ago now, and my fingers are going through it. So I found this Biotin Ultimate Strength Results Start in One Day. This nail strengthener. I'm going to try to use this because I'm going on vacation, and I think I already said this, I'm going on vacation um, May 12th, and so I'm going to get my nails done before I go, but how am I going to put an acrylic over that? Like, so, hopefully this helps, but that is everything that I got from Walmart. Next, let's move on to Ulta. I just got two things from here. First, I got these Fourth Ray Chill Sesh Hydrating Eye Mask. And I actually haven't really heard anything about these at all, but I did really want some eye masks. And when I went to Ulta, I tried to recommend me some like Peter Thomas Roth. And I'm like, you don't have that kind of money. So we got, oh, so we got these instead. Let's go ahead and open it up. 30 pairs in here. And I think that was about the same as the Peter Thomas Roth ones. So yeah, there you have your little scoop on there. And you take it off. There, your little eye mask. Oh, I'm so excited about this. I really wanted some eye mask, like, really, really bad. I don't really know why. I just, I don't know. I feel like I have really bad dark circles. And I wanted to see if some eye mask would help. And then I had to jump on the train. I wanted snail stuff really bad. I did that. <laughs> TikTok is influencing me so much. I need to get off of this app. But I did get the COSRX Advanced Snail 96 Mucin Power Essence. And I was going to get the gel moisturizer. But I think this goes on after your moisturizer. This essence helps the skin to lose less moisture while keeping the skin smooth and healthy. But all the instructions... Oh, wait, no. 
Yeah, after cleansing and toning, apply... Oh, okay, you do this after your toner. After cleansing and toning, apply a small amount on your entire face. Gently pat using fingertips to aid absorption, and then go forth with your moisturizers. Okay. But yeah, everything else is in Korean, so that's cute. So, you know, they got a little... They got some instructions for us on there. So those were the two things that I got from... And actually, I want to open this and see what it looks like. There we go. I'm honestly really excited about this. I think that it is going to make me very glowy. I'm excited to use it for the summertime. So that is everything I got from Ulta. And then for the very last store, I went to TJ Maxx and I got some body oil and some sunscreen. But I did not get the black girl sunscreen, y'all. Just wait. So first I got this body oil. You know how TJ Maxx is. They just be having random brands. It's the Earth Goodness brand. Rose hip all over body oil and the scent Vanilla Rose. And I've heard good things about rose hip. So I don't know, that kind of intrigued me just that itself. And so I'm gonna use this after my tone and touch. So I'm, gonna, I'm curious to see how these two go together, but I feel like it'll smell really good. And then the last item for this haul, I saw this TikTok literally right before I went hygiene shopping and I had it set in my mind. I'm getting black girl sunscreen. If I don't get anything else in this haul, I want to get black girl sunscreen. Everybody's saying we need sunscreen. We have to have sunscreen. I want to get rid of my discoloration, hyperpigmentation, the scarring and things on my face. She talked about this brand. I'm like, I don't know where I'm going to find that. I'm just going to get black girl sunscreen. So I didn't end up getting it at Target because I kept, I literally sat, like I said, I sat in the aisles for like 15 minutes and talked myself out of getting it. And I'm like, oh, I'll just find a sunscreen at Ulta or at TJ Maxx. Didn't find one at uh, Ulta that I wanted because I didn't want to pay for Super Goop. I just cannot bring myself to pay $36 for that much. And I found my oil. I'm getting tired, like my body oil at TJ Maxx. I'm getting tired. I'm ready to go. I decide I'm just going to do one more lap around all the beauty stuff. And y'all want to know what I found? Yeah, I don't even know what it looks like. This was just highly influenced. Like, I don't know nothing about this. The only TikTok I've ever seen is that one. But I saw it and it was eight bucks. So, or nine. It was $8.99. And I feel like that's really cheap for this. So, I'm excited. Sheer UV protection cream with a matte finish. Also doubled as a lightweight makeup base. Mattifying priming UV shield sunscreen from Innisfree. So, I'm curious to see how this works. It's supposed to be a lot better than the black girl sunscreen. There's a lot less ingredients, so I can believe that it's honestly better. But that is everything that I got for my 2023 spring hygiene haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me while I went hygiene shopping. Let me know if you've tried any of these products that I showed in this haul, how you like them, if you don't like them. Give me your opinions. And let me know some of your upcoming staples for the spring and summer season. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.